San Diego has lost a long shining star in our community. We remember the life and accomplishments of Junior Seau. The legendary Charger was known for being especially close to his many fans. San Diegans share their memories of the football great. Also, with investigations pointing towards suicide, speculations as to why he took his own life abound. How football may have played a part in his untimely death. Later, we sit down with a mental health counselor to learn the warning signs of depression. This special edition of Nushin starts right now. Good evening and welcome to this special edition of News Scene. I'm Laura Caplanieto. And I'm Sunny Avila. Thanks for joining us. San Diego carries a heavy heart as the whole community mourns the death of a San Diego legend. Annette Chacon has the story. A San Diego great who has left us too soon. The city is left in shock about the sudden death of Junior Sea, one of the most beloved sports figures in our community. The 43-year-old was found dead at his Oceanside home early Wednesday morning. Oceanside police have confirmed the death of the San Diego legend, a suicide. Oceanside police detectives were there this morning. You know, we, you know, we believe it was a suicide, but we do a thorough investigation just to cover all the bases and make sure we come to the right conclusions. As San Diego came to grips with this shocking news, friends and family gathered to pay their respects to number 55. I, I seen his graciousness, I seen the, the love of the man and, and the deep commitment that he had to family. Uh, he has for family and he has for kids in his community. And uh, so that's, that was a big inspiration for me. And, uh, I turned on the news and it was just, you know, I couldn't really believe it. I just, I just came right down, I just lived real close and just walked right over here. And I, I just, it was really sad, you know, I just seen in my own eyes, you know, seeing his believing. Junior Seau was not only a fantastic football player, he was a father, son, and an inspiring human being who enjoyed giving back to the community. With photojournalist Adam Perez, I'm Anette Chacon, New Scene. A paddle out is set for Sunday at noon in front of Seau's home in Oceanside. Other services are scheduled for May the 11th and 12th at New Venture Christian Fellowship and Oceanside High School. Charger Hall of Famer Junior Seau's death inspired many fans to come together at his restaurant. Adriana Carlos has the story. After receiving the tragic news of Junior Seau's death, many fans came to visit and pay their respects here at the Seau's restaurant. Would you like to say some words for Junior Seau? Can't we speak right now? Okay. It's kind of it's kind of sad because I met him like two or three times, and he's such a cool guy, and um, I'm actually kind of hurt. I, 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 I'm actually kind of hurt. I was in the car with my friends and it popped up on the news and we were just, you saddened. Like it, it's personal because if anybody has lived here their whole life, either you've seen him or you've known of him for so long, it's just, it hits you hard. It's, uh, it's devastating to all of us. I don't, we don't know what to make of it now. I, I, it can't really, I can't cycle it through yet. You know? The impact on one fan was so great that he left a special message for Junior. Thanks for the memories. I was born in the Charger football and he was my role model, my inspiration, and he's everything to me and I'm really upset about it. Not only football fans were affected, but the local surfing community lost one of their own. Well, it's, it's already difficult to lose a local hero like number 55, but also when you're a surfer, uh, you're real close to each other. Shortly after receiving the news, his restaurant was closed for the day, and one employee shared his feelings. Me sentí mal porque yo soy una persona que siempre estuve con él y siempre él confió conmigo. Yo era el que le hacía comida en su casa. Siento muy triste. The impact of his loss will be felt in San Diego. Number 55 will surely be missed. I'm Adriana Carlos with photojournalist James Smith for News Scene. This tragic incident has left fans devastated and with renewed admiration of his legacy.
In October 2010, the late Junior Seau was arrested on a domestic violence charge. His former live-in girlfriend accused him of physically assaulting her during an argument. At 2 a.m. the next day, he was released under bail. While driving home, Seau drove his SUV off a cliff in Carlsbad. He was reported to have fallen asleep at the wheel, and it was not considered a suicide attempt. There are many speculations as to why Seau, one of the NFL's most loved athletes, took his own life. Dave Duerson took his own life when he shot himself in the chest. Some doctors are seeing a chain of events that might link head trauma with suicide. Seau played in the NFL for 20 years, but not once was he diagnosed with having any kind of head injury. ESPN reported those that knew Seau, like neighbor Taylor Twelman, says that Junior admitted that he suffered from headaches from multiple concussions while playing football. A concussion occurs when the brain is shaken so hard that it hits the inside of the skull, which results in brain trauma. One ex-football player is not that surprised. You're shocked because of the, the sudden nature of the death, but you're not shocked that you're seeing these things happen. There is a lot of factors that contribute to depression. Uh, one is stress, money stress, family stress. According to a study published in neurosurgery last year, American football players who sustained three or more concussions were significantly more likely to develop depression. Many researchers believe depression is caused by chemical changes in the brain, which may be a problem with genes or triggered by certain stressful events. Depression can change the way you see yourself, your life, and even those around you. Many experts believe that chronic traumatic, which is a disease found in people who have experienced multiple blows to the head, such as football players and boxers, are being found in several athletes who have committed suicide. The problem is you don't know if you have that. You can't determine that unless you're, you're, you've passed away and you do a biopsy of your brain. And so you're surprised, but you're not surprised because there's so many factors that lead towards athletes falling into deep, deep depression. Only time will tell if head trauma is connected with football player suicide. Junior Seau's family has given Boston University permission to do a full study of his brain for scientific research. Depression is a common symptom, rarely discussed or treated. Please don't wait until it's too late to seek help. There are free resources on campus. Amia Pargo has some more. Did you you know counseling was covered under our mandatory health service fee? We are a free and confidential counseling center. Um, we're open to all enrolled students and their family members. Uh, as long as the enrolled student comes in with the family member, we'll see you as a couple, we'll see you, we'll see your kids, whatever it takes. We all have stress. Most of us aren't taught how to deal with stress. Coming in, learning those skills, learning what helps you to be successful and what's keeping you from being successful, that's really why we're here. And not just to help you be a successful student, but to be successful in life. We're open nine to four. Um, Monday through Thursday with one of those nights having evening hours and a lot of times that's geared towards our couples or our families because they typically can't come in during the middle of the day. So you can be seen as a walk-in or you can schedule online at sdcity.edu slash mental health counseling um, or you can go into the student services column and you can find us in the student services column. We do have resources on there. We have resources for housing. We have resources for shelters. We have resources for food. And we certainly have mental health and health resources. A lot of students suffer from depression and anxiety. Those are the two biggest factors leading to, to college dropout. So if you can come in and get that help before you're failing your classes, before you're fired from your job, before you can't get out of bed because you're so depressed, then you give us the opportunity to help you be more successful and reach your life's goals. And that's really what we do here. Amira Pargo, New Scene. If you or someone you know is suffering from depression, it is never too late to talk to a professional. San Diegoans are remembering Junior Seau's career by how he played on the field and how he lived off of Justin Watson has an in-depth look into the life of number 55. An American flag flies at half-staff in Oceanside in honor of a San Diego sports icon. Known for his passionate playing style, work ethic, and leadership, number 55, Junior Seau, will always be remembered for his commitment on the field and off. Just, just the fact that you know he brought the legacy to like and showed how we play Oceanside football. Uh, I will remember Junior Seau <laughs> for uh, his infectious enthusiasm, his which was genuine. You hear about it in the locker room how. I just heard Norv Turner, Coach Turner, say 
with Junior, you didn't have to give a speech because he was already there getting guys fired up. He had that same persona with the kids that he would come out here and volunteer his own time on this beach down here at this pier where he grew up. After graduating from Oceanside High School, where he lettered in track, basketball, and of course football, Seau attended the University of Southern California. During his three-year career, Seau was unanimously selected first-team All-American as a linebacker. In 1990, Junior entered the NFL draft and was chosen first round, fifth overall by the San Diego Chargers. He quickly became the face of the Chargers franchise. His first of 12 consecutive Pro Bowl selections came in 1992, and one of his greatest games in his career came in 1994 when he led the Chargers to the Super Bowl playing with a pinched nerve in his neck. His career with the Chargers ended in 2002, and he went on to play for the Miami Dolphins until 2006. Four days later, his love for the game called him back, where he played his final career with the New England Patriots. He never officially retired from the NFL. Maybe his way of saying his love for the game hadn't left. That was Justin Watson reporting. Sayal contributed a great deal for the community of San Diego, and his son-in-laws has touched many. When we Prize bombing just hours after President Obama left Afghanistan.